our minds become still and quiet, making it high C to allow that unconditional love, its unconditional love, to simply flow through you to everyone around you. See what this feels like. What is it like when the high C's unconditional love comes through the ribbon of the maypole directly to you, coming in huge quantities, just simply flowing through you. You don't have to control it. You don't have to guide it. This is divine energy and it knows exactly what it needs to do. Simply accepting or surrendering to this energy as it carries through whatever is required. Just focus on the awareness of this divine, unconditional love energy flowing through you. What does it feel like? Ask the high C to increase that unconditional love flow even more, that more and more of its love flows through you at all times. Now, something a little bit difficult. Ask the high C to send you its unconditional love to help you to love yourself just as you are. Help you to love yourself as a perfect divine child of the high C, of God, as God's pure divine child, perfect in every way possible. The external things don't matter. Just focus on the divinity inside. It's a little bit difficult. If you have any trouble, ask for relaxing, healing, purifying, cleansing energy so that you really can love yourself completely. Not in a selfish way, but in a divine, unconditional way. What is it like when this divine, unconditional love f comes from the high sea directly to you to help you love yourself? If you feel any resistance, you can ask the high C where is the resistance coming from to show you where that resistance is and to heal that resistance using its loving healing energy. Very good. Let's come back now. Coming back to the current position, current place. It's 6.40 p.m. here in Bangalore, Whitefield. Okay, so this is the first step what we did just now. We're going to go again a few more steps, but let's hear from you what experiences you had, what doubts you had, what questions you had, so we can clarify those before we go further. Would anyone like to share?
everyone's so quiet. See, the mic, the camera won't be on you, so you can speak, you know, without any <laughs> hesitation or discomfort. What was it like when you asked the high C to send its unconditional love to you and through you to everyone else around? What was that like? It was very expensive and I felt as though I had no body. Very expensive. Mm -hmm. Like an integrated feeling. Okay. Have you ever done that before? Is this the first time you've asked the high C I like that? Sometimes, mm -hmm. but uh, today it was very pronounced. Okay. Okay. So very expansive, as if you just had no body. Wonderful, wonderful. Others? It just went through every part of my body. It just went out from my heart, I felt. The light was just pouring out. So the light was just pouring out. So it went through every part of your body. Good. Very good. Very good. Anyone else? Guys, we're being very quiet today. Would you like to share your experience? Yeah, go ahead. In the, in the beginning, it was very difficult to, especially the parts of yourself, loving yourself, sending love to yourself, and the big blow off there. Good. Thank you for saying that. Thank you for mm -hmm. being brave enough to say that. So what he said is that in the beginning, it was very difficult because you felt a big block, right? Okay. Then? And then I just allowed it to go away. <laughs> I was just able to hug myself, visualize myself, hugging myself. Okay. So in over time, the block cleared away. Not completely, though. Okay. Not but completely. I could, I could feel the grip loosening. Okay. And where do you think that that grip of this? And what you're saying, I will tell you, everybody has had this at one time or the other. Most people still have it. Okay, so you're not alone. 99 plus percent probably are still going through this in different ways. So most people still have it. What do, what do you think it came from? Any idea? Or it's just there? It's actually, it's always been there. It's always been there. Okay, all right. So this is a common thing. What you're saying, many people in this room, many people around the world have this, this difficulty loving ourselves. What we always feel is that unless you can love yourself, then it's very difficult to love others. Once you uh, do learn to love yourself, then you can become that instrument through which God's love flows. And then you become, as, as Bhuma said just now, it was as if she just melted away, right? And it probably if you kept doing that for some time, you would be completely gone, and it would just be God's love. I'll give you an example, a practical example of, of how I do this. So I try to stay connected to the Maypole as much as possible, all the time, 24 by 7. So I had gone to Mumbai recently for a medical conference, and there was a workshop during the day, and uh, it was my turn to speak around 3 in the afternoon. Now that is very bad luck because we had a late lunch, 2 o'clock, and you know how everyone is just after uh, eating food, all the blood goes to the stomach, and uh, people are getting hypoglycemic, and they're, you know. So I had that luck, and we had started at 8 o'clock, so it was like 8 a.m. in the morning, so even double whammy for me. So when I got up to speak, I do what I always do. I ask the high C to speak through me. I connect to the maple and allow the love of the high C to do whatever it wants. I don't ask the high C to do this. I just tell the high C, send your love. Bus. The reaction from the audience, about 80 doctors, was just tremendous. The love, the, the way they immediately became alert, the way they became engaged. Here they're almost comatose before I started to speak and now the audience had become interactive again. They had started to learn that enthusiasm had come back again and it was just God's love. The response, though, was more than, oh, he's a good speaker. The response was something much more. The, the love that was being sent to me, through me, was being reflected back from them, back to me. I could see it in how they were responding. It's just God's love. And this is a practical example of how when you are connected to the maple, when you're sending that love out, when you're allowing the love of the high sea to come through you, this is a small part of what can happen. And you can do this all the time, all the time. Okay, so let's do it again now. Okay, I think you're starting to understand. Can we take some online questions? So it looks like we have some online questions also. Sure. Mm -hmm. Can you call them out? So, uh, an experience that I had 
experience sharing is that uh, Can the online people hear that mic? Yes. Okay, great. So, one experience that was shared was that uh, this person felt that there was a warmth entering through the hand uh, that he was holding the ribbon with and it was flowing through and out from the left hand and the mind was quieter. The mind was quiet. Oppa, yeah. thank goodness. Okay. <laughs> um, another experience is that um, sharing is that letting the high sea high seas love do its work she felt like this is enough and she doesn't need anything else very good very very good that actually is a key point uh, can we can we just take that a bit further so you know sometimes uh, people come and tell me mm, you talk about allowing god to work through you but then how do i get my work done as if God won't take care of even the smallest and smallest of your things. For him, it's all trivial. But he will take care of even the smallest detail of our lives, if you allow him to. He will take care of the big things and the small thing. Nothing is too big or nothing is too small for God. So what I'd like you to do is, in, I'll tell you what we'll do first, okay? And then we'll actually go through it. We're first going to go back to the high sea. We're going to ask the high sea to send its unconditional love through us. Okay, bus, that's, that's all. We're not going to try to direct that flow. We're not going to try to control or guide it. That is divine energy. It's divinely intelligent energy. It knows exactly what needs to be done, how it needs to be done. It's none of our concern what happens to that energy. This is an important part, a point, important point. It is not your concern what happens to that divine energy. It will do whatever it needs to do. This is God's energy directly from the high sea. You're surrendering. You're trusting, you're accepting. Surrender, trust, and accept. Just allow it to flow through. Now, in the second part, she said, can you repeat what she said in that last part again, please? Let, letting the high, sea, the high sea's love do its work, she feels like this is enough and I don't need anything else. Okay, so letting the high sea do its work. So in the second part of this, what we're going to do now, I want you to just ask the high C to show you what is it like when the high C works through you. Okay? What is it like when the high C just show you, just give you a demonstration or an understanding of what it's like. We're all sitting here quietly, so we're not actually physically doing anything. But what is it like if the high C were to do everything through you? Everything that's required in our small, tiny lives, what would happen if the high C did its work through us? Okay. So any questions on that? Two parts. First is unconditional love flowing through us, just allowing it to flow. Second part is just to ask, just show me, what would it be like if, if everything was taken care of by you? Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back to our golden circle. There's one high C for all of us connected from all around the world. Many, many different color ribbons coming down, connecting us all as one to the high sea level. At the high sea level, we are all one. Ask the high sea to send us unconditional love. And really, breathe in deeply, breathing it into your body. And as you exhale, allow it to flow through you free of any obstruction. Although we're connected just as if through a small ribbon, imagine that love flowing through you through a huge fire hose that is completely wide open, gushing divine, unconditional love through you to everything around you. Your focus is just on watching the flow of this unconditional love. That's all. Don't think I am an instrument, I am a channel, nothing. Just watch the flow of this unconditional love.
If you find your mind getting distracted, just come back to the flow of love, to the unconditional love of the high sea. Watch it come down the ribbon directly to you and through you. And now let us ask the high sea, what is it like if you completely work through me, if you think through me, feel through me, speak through me, act through me, love through me, and even breathe through me. Just show me. Just ask the high sea to show you. What is this like? And let's come back now. You can come out of the meditation. You can gradually stretch your body if you need to. Coming back to the present moment. Okay, so there are two parts to this last exercise. One is just allowing the unconditional love of the high sea to flow through you. The second is to see what is it like when the high sea takes care of everything. Now, as we discuss this, what I'd like you to do is to stay connected to the high sea. Don't let go of the ribbon and go off someplace else in your monkey mind or your inner scene. Stay connected to the high sea by holding the ribbon. So what we should be doing is, as we are speaking, as we're discussing, you should remain connected to the high sea. Can you see the difference here? Most of us, what we do is we connect to the high sea, we're all connected, we're happy, everything, and then once we finish, we put the maypole away, it goes back into storage, and then we leave it until we are really in trouble and we need some help, and then we come back to the high sea and then we say, oh God, please help me. Now, what I'd like you to start doing is all the time, hold that ribbon in your hand, in your inner seam, all the time, stay connected to the high sea, all the time, receive, from the high sea all the time, allow the high sea to flow through you, even as we're speaking, okay? This is a very important point. In fact, if you learn anything from this discussion today, it's just this point, staying connected to the high sea 24 by 7, no matter what the physical external situation around you might be, okay? So with that, can we uh, share, can, does anyone want to share? Is there anything from online or anything from here? Some more questions? <clears throat> Uh, does one need to keep our focus 100% of the time on the golden light of high sea on the maple? So does one need to focus on the, the see the, the maypole is like this, there's a golden ball at the top, ribbons come down. So when we use these symbols, what these symbols do is they tell us uh, it's time to connect. It gives an impression or a communication to the subconscious mind that now we're going to connect. So for example, if I pick up a phone, Okay. What do you think I'm going to do? If I hold the phone like this, what does that mean? I'm going to call someone, right? If I pick up a pen, what does that mean to you? I'm going to write. When you pick up the maypole, what you're doing is you're sending to the high sea a message. Or you're sending rather to your subconscious a message, sorry, that now you're connecting to the high sea. That's all you're doing. And it's the same thing with the other symbols, whether it's beach ball, cylinder, uh, mandala, uh, hourglass. They all give a message to the high sea now that this is what we're going to do. In this technique, what I'm asking you to do is to stay connected all the time. So somewhere in your inner scene, and you can even ask the high sea to show you, how do I stay connected all the time? It may be different uh, for you than it is for me. We'll do this in just a moment. How do I stay? Because I know all of you are thinking, Hare Babre, this is really hard. How do I stay connected all the time? I don't know. But the high C knows, and it's likely that it's different for everybody in this room. 
the high C will show you exactly what you need to learn, exactly how it needs to be done. Can I go back to the first question? How is it with the, um, how is it when unconditional love was flowing through you? Anyone else had any different experience? Was it different this time, the second time we did it? Yeah. What happened this time? Can you give her the mic, please? The first time it was through my heart. The, yeah, the first time it was through my heart, there was energy which was coming. And then the second time it was totally, I was not there. Good. I was not there. It was just... So the second time you were not there. Yeah, I was it not, was this, the unconditional yeah, love of the high was, sea. Yeah, me, uh, the identity, whatever you call it. I was not there. Yes. So it was just... It's just... It's just the I'm unconditional to, yeah. love of the yeah, high sea. Yeah. That's all that's required. I see several people are also nodding their heads in agreement, right? So I think the first time you had this, the, the inner scene was that it was coming through one body part, maybe yes. your heart, right? Yes, yes. And the second time it was just flowing and then the body was no longer there? there Is that yes. correct? Yes, okay. yes. Okay, that's very good. And then the second time when we ask the second question, what is it like to have the high sea take care of everything for you? Does anyone want to share that experience? What were you shown or what happened in that? Could you see? Can you pass the mic back, please? Yeah. I don't know whether it's my imagination, but I just suddenly got a view of the moon and the earth and all the planets saying they are moving uh, with my... It's how they are moving without any mechan... It's just me running them. There's no, you know, we don't see the mechanics of it, but it's happening at that scale. Why wouldn't this happen? Something like that, you know? I, I don't know if you understand. It was so like... God can take care of the planets and the stars yes, and it everything was like else. I could take care of the spheres that are moving because it's so, I'm guiding it. So imagine if I'm guiding this. So that's, so, that's all. I don't know if it's... Yes, yes. Very good. Very good. Anyone else want to share? Or is there something from online also? Thank you also for sharing all the online. I can feel all of you as you're logging in and watching, so I'm glad that uh, you're here. Okay, the, what? the first one here. And, uh, this thing, uh, when we set an intention in the morning to stay connected to the maypole through, throughout the day, do we keep reminders in the day to visualize our connection to the maypole? Uh, sometimes we forget. Um, and the other um, uh, sharings are that the second time the mind became calmer and the, um, this brother felt like he was Swami. Very good, very good. And then another brother is sharing that second time he had a lot of physical sensation in his head and internally very quiet and clear. Mm. Very good. And then another brother says, when the high sea works through me, there is an inner silence and I just watch everything happen effortlessly. Good. Effortlessly. Mm -hmm. That's the key f phrase, is that when you're allowing the high sea to work through you, whatever needs to happen, happens effortlessly. Uh, how was it when we were with Swami physically, right? We would, would just watch him very closely. Do you remember in those days how it was? We would be like this with Swami and we would just watch all the time and Swami would sometimes he wouldn't even say anything he would just move his eyes like this or he would just take a finger and point it would be in his lap but he would just take his finger and point somewhere and immediately the boys or, or if we were there with him physically for his doctors we would just run off and get it done and then come back down and be like this again remember those days it's like that now with a high C okay except here you're not running off to do something. You're simply watching the high sea inwardly all the time. And instead of you running off to go and do something, the high sea is taking care of it always, all the time. Now, one brother, and how come only brothers are commenting online oh, well, and sisters are not sister, saying anything? Uh, the, here, as you say, the sister has replied. She says she felt her whole body filled with yellow light and just saw the whole body with yellow light with just a border. And then um, another sister says, when I asked Hi C about how it would be when Hi C takes over, 
she felt herself floating in air and the strings attached in the sky and she felt very light and blissful. Very good. So this ex experience is, is an important point. When you ask the high C a question, the high C may not respond in a big long paragraph or like bullet points or a PowerPoint slide, you know, don't expect like that. Oftentimes what you'll get is simply an experience, right? You'll just get an experience. It's much faster way of communicating and it's a much more efficient way because you simply understand like that what it is that you're asking for. Now, one brother said, or one sister, I'm sorry, said that sometimes I forget. Do I, when I start the day, do I hold on and then remind ourselves? I know some people who have these apps on their phone where it chimes and then that's their signal to connect back to the high sea again. That's fine if you want to do that. What Phyllis says is that you should try as best you can, but it's okay to forget. Phyllis would tell us that even she forgets from time to time. So it's all right to forget. But as much as you can, do try to stay connected to the high C and start to learn to allow the high C to take care of every aspect of your life. That's the homework for today. Okay? For all of you watching, whether it's your first time doing the Maypole or your 10,000 time doing the Maypole, this is the homework now. See, all of us have been going like this for so long. Healing energy, uh, purifying, cleansing, strengthening energy, unconditional love. Okay, I'll send, I'm giving. Uh, that is all first standard things, okay? It's time for us to go much deeper. I remember, remember what Phyllis had told us years ago. You have just uh, scratched, you're just scratching the surface of this work. Now it's time for us to go much deeper. What it would be like if everything in your life was taken care of by the high C. What would it be like if you allowed the high C to take care of everything for you? This is a very interesting question. Um, this brother says he feels hesitant to ask the high C for anything. He makes, uh, he feels he makes many mistakes every day. So how can I face Swami and ask him for anything when I'm not able to follow even his simple teachings? I think many of us have that from time to time. Everybody has that. You're not alone. I remember once uh, when we were in Buddha Bharti, Shivani and I were talking with each other about how self-love is so important and learning to love ourselves is, is critical to being able to share love with others. Exactly what we had said before. Unless you love yourself, how can you love others? And we were also discussing how self-love or lack of self-love, the belief that I'm not good enough, I don't deserve, I'm so bad, I make so many mistakes, is, is really the fault of so many problems, whether emotional, mental, physical, health-wise, that people face today. This was our discussion. The next day, actually the same day during Darshan, Swami came by, he came to Shivani, this was when he was in his chair, and Swami came by in his chair and he said to her, don't just love yourself, he said, then he put his head like this, he said, be madly in love with yourself. Don't just love yourself, be madly in love with yourself. Not a selfish love, that wasn't the point. This is loving yourself as a divine child of God, as a divine creation of God, as God itself. That's the type of love that's required. Now there's a comment back here, could we send the mic towards the back please? And then we're going to go back again to the maypole and we're going to do another exercise to help us uh, go sometimes, deeper. Sometimes uh, when we go through our, day, our daily routines and things like that, and uh, um, the, even the maypole routine sometimes I feel gets mechanical. Um, I'm not able to really feel and enjoy, but there are other days when I can really do that. Okay, so, uh, that's a good point. Many times I find it's become mechanical. It's a, okay, I have to do this, it's 10.30. I, do, I, feel, I don't feel good about just going to bed. I do it, but it's not so very so, soothing. Or so suppose you watch a, a video of Swami on YouTube or whatever it is, okay? And suppose you are physically before Swami in the same s scenario. What would the difference be to you? I mean, everything in me, the focus would be completely on Swami, huh. the physical presence. Right. Right. Yeah. So YouTube, with the maypole, yeah, with YouTube, it's like whatever, you know, yeah. somebody sends you a WhatsApp message, you halt the video halfway through. I, that's that's the, the nature of this world, too many distractions. But when you're physically before Swami, your focus is just completely on the Lord. When you're physically before the high sea, 
using the maypole, the focus should be the same. So really when, when you're doing this, put as much feeling and faith and, and oomph as you can into it. Now please, one suggestion is don't wait till the end of the day when you're tired and you're almost about to fall in bed and you're saying, Lord, please send me relaxing energy. <laughs> no? Because you will miss most of what was there. So do it when you're fresh and alert or before you, or, you know, start to crash. Do it when you have some time. It's the same thing when you, if you were to time, spend time with your spouse or your child or a loved one. You want to give the best of yourself. And the same thing is, is true with your connection to Swami. You'd like to give the best of yourself. So, yes, one last question and then we're going to go into the maypole again. Sairam, my question is about questions that we ask to the high C. So in my experience, what happens is uh, sometimes I have, a, uh, I have this tendency of asking too much. So I'm going back for every little thing, you know, even if um, somebody, if, if a friend is, old friend is coming back or chatting, uh, you know, messaging and if for every, should I be responding? So for everything, and I think I'm getting confused on whether I should take things, whatever they come as they're coming, uh, you know, they are in the right place because Swami is guiding or, you know, High C is guiding or is, should we go back for every little thing? So what to ask and in your experience for your daily life, uh, how do you, do you ask every little thing or? Uh, so the question is, do I ask every little thing or do I just leave it for the big things? So in my experience, I've, I've gone through this and what I have learned is what matters is that I keep my awareness as high as possible all the time. When that happens, everything that needs to be done, everything that needs to be completed, every patient that I need to speak to, every family member that I need to interact with, everything happens at this level. Okay? High. Very high. It's complete love. It's complete unconditional love. When I try to do it myself with my monkey mind, with my ego, with my uh, small personality, it's only this level. So what I would suggest is you try to keep your awareness as high as possible. How to do that? Keep yourself as close to the high sea, as close to God as possible. So that, that's why I'm asking. Now hopefully all of you as we're speaking, you've remained connected to the maple. If not, reconnect immediately and renew that connection. So that's why we stay connected to the high sea as much as possible. Okay, let's go back to the maypole now. And we've done this exercise before, but it's very important. You're sitting in your golden circle. The ribbon is in your hand. Ask for relaxing energy. Breathe in deeply. Think, feel, visualize, or imagine this divine relaxing energy is coming to you. All your stress and strain is taken care of. All your problems and issues that are there will be resolved very nicely, very lovingly by the Lord. He's got them all under control. Just relax completely into his divine hands. Now ask the Lord to send you from the maypole his divine presence. Ask the Lord to show you his divine presence. Now let's ask the Lord to send you from the maypole, through the ribbon, the energy to stay connected to him all the time. Ask the high sea to send you from the maypole, through the ribbon, 
the energy so that you can stay connected to him all the time. And let's come back you Can relax back into the present moment. Wriggle your fingers and toes if you need to stretch a little bit. Okay, so what was that like? Could you feel the presence of the Lord? Yeah, could you? Can I get some comments from the guys on this side? Gents, sir. Anand, brother, you have the mic if you can just give, yes. Any of the gents want to see? Can you share what your experience was? I had a very simple experience. When the color I was of the ribbon I was holding initially was black. By the time I asked uh, Swami to send His divine presence, it turned into golden. Okay, the color so, of the ribbon changed. Could you feel was, the presence? Yes, it you could feel Swami's been, presence. It lighter. Uh, it was different. Okay, good. It fully became white light. I cannot say the color, but. Okay, very good. Anyone else? Yes? Uh, again, it's, I don't know, it's my imagination. The uh, moment I asked that, I felt like uh, the very air I'm breathing became like very soothing. And I felt like uh, like light scent kind of thing. I, uh, so it's like, it's the same air I was breathing, but it suddenly became like very nice thing. So. Very good. 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 Anything from the online community? Can you pass the mic that way, please? Well, you guys can type very fast. No? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to pick up a few, which are really sweet. Um, he's saying, uh, for one person, the Swami came out of the maple, smiled at him, took his phone, took a selfie with me, <laughs> laughed at me, <laughs> and he went back. <laughs> Thanks, Chandra. <laughs> um, okay, for another brother, this time when he, uh, we asked the presence of the Lord, th his breath became very slow and quiet, and there was lightness within, as though something gentle had entered within. Beautiful. And one brother said uh, uh, he had full darshan of Swami, and wow. he said uh, he has totally he totally becomes me. And uh, uh, yes, uh, some questions. <coughs> Can the maple be inside my golden circle, or does it have to be outside? So the maple inside or outside? Outside, 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 outside usually? Yeah. Usually it's outside your golden circle. Mm. Uh, this is interesting. It says, when we are doing the maple, at times the mind comes forwards with doubts and starts chatter and it can be a little disturbing. Should we just let that chatter be and continue our practice? It means not control the mind. So when that happens, Ask for relaxing energy, ask for purifying, cleansing energy to allow the mind to become silent. There is also a symbol in the work that you can use. I think all of you can see this. This is a standard tape measure that carpenters use. And there's a nice symbol for controlling the mind. I do this in the morning when I wake up, before I meditate and before going to bed. You get really good sleep if you do this before sleeping. So in this symbol, this is a mind control symbol. You imagine that you're taking a standard tape measure and you place it on your right hand side. On the camera, I'm gonna place it in the middle, but you imagine it's on your right. And you just allow this tape measure to be extended as far as it needs to go. And then this symbolizes your mind, okay? And then you, in your inner scene, you imagine that the tape measure is going back at full speed and snapping back into the case of the tape measure with a loud s s noise, okay? That simple symbol 
tells the subconscious mind to become quiet. So you can use this mind control symbol. You can also use just ask for relaxing energy or purifying, or just ask for energy to allow the mind to become silent. Now, when, when you asked the high C to send you energy to remain connected all the time, what happened? Can we get some feedback on that? When you ask the high C for the energy to allow you to remain connected to the high C all the time, what happened then? Raji, did you? Um, there was a sense of, um, I felt like a column of light, like merged with the divine. I didn't feel my physical form. Okay, so good, good. So you just felt a column of light. Anyone else had anything that they'd like to share? Notice that I didn't ask you to ask the high C, how do I stay connected to you all? The Why didn't I do that? Monkey mind will go, do, 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 you know, that's why. There's enough of monkey mind, no? <laughs> just high C, take care of everything and show you how to stay connected. Did you want to share something? Did you have any? Thing when you ask the high C to give you that energy to stay connected to the high C all the time. Yeah, I felt like a small child putting trust on the mother or putting a hand and Lord guiding. So you felt, felt like a yeah. small child just holding placing all of its trust on its mother or father. The hand and uh, taking along. And the high C was holding your hand and yeah. taking along. That's beautiful. Anything from the online community? Um, his brother is saying that uh, his experience is very deep and clear during Maypole. He feels a little lightheaded after he comes back to normal state. Is that common? Yes, depending on the strength of the Maypole, it is common. But don't worry, the, may the high C will take care of everything. Just don't do this when you're driving, please. <laughs> mm -hmm. The brother says his understanding of Bhagwan saying Ananda Swarupa. Very good. Very and good. Um, they were filled. One one brother is saying it's filled with with the filled. It's filling the entire being. Just very powerful, but loving energy stayed on, and feeling the glow all over. Feeling the glow all, all over. over. Great. Um, a sister says she, uh, for getting connected, she saw the ribbon getting converted into a stick and I am placing my head on it. Interesting. So mm -hmm. if you get a symbol like that, and maybe it has specific meaning to her, if not, you can ask the high C to explain these symbols to you so that you understand better. Let's do one last exercise, okay? Let me give you the homework first before we go into the exercise. So uh, yes, one last comment or question here. Could you pass the mic, please? It's a, related to the prayer practice when you ask like uh, high C to show how do you feel like when the love is free. So all of a sudden I feel my chin to be very heavy. While chin to be very heavy. Yeah, even when I came out I was still feeling that happiness there. Do you have, do you ever feel difficulty speaking or expressing yourself? No. No? Do you feel, so if you don't then ask the high C why that happened ask the high C what that means and is it something that you need to work on? If not, then that's fine, but ask the high C why did that happen? Okay, what is the meaning for that? Okay. All right, so the homework is to stay connected to the high C all the time. Okay, that's part one. The second part of the homework is to allow the love of the high C to flow through you all the time. That means that the unconditional love of the high C is coming to you and it's coming through you to everyone else around you, okay? So first part is to stay connected to the high C all the time. The second part is to allow that unconditional love of the high C to come to you and through you. Now the good news in all this, you know, Swami says love all, serve all. This is the first teaching and this is the last teaching. The good news in all this is that you don't have to work so hard to love all, okay? You can allow Swami to love all, all the time through you. It's much easier that way, believe me. So in this exercise, you're going to allow the high C to love all through you, 
Okay? The high C is going to do the work, but your role then becomes to surrender trust and accept you're allowing that unconditional love to flow through you all the time. And when we meet again, I'd like you to share with the group how this experience has changed your life, how this practice has changed your lives. Okay? It will happen. If you can do this simple task, your lives will be changed. First, you're always connected to the high sea. Second, that unconditional love of the high sea simply flows through you. Do not tell yourself, I am a channel for the high sea, I am an instrument for the high sea. Nothing like that yet. Nothing. That's all silliness, okay? You're just watching, you're just witnessing, you're just being, you're just allowing, that's all. Don't try to make it anything more than that. Just watch, just witness, okay? Let's go into the last exercise and then we'll end with this. Sitting in your golden circle, go up to the maypole, take a ribbon and sit back down. If you'd like, you can tug on the ribbon gently, feeling your connection to the high C. Ask the high C to send its unconditional love to you and allow it to flow out through you. Don't worry about where that unconditional love goes or how far it goes, or what happens to that love. Just focus on this flow of divine, unconditional love. You can think, feel, visualize, or imagine this unconditional love coming through the ribbon directly to you, and then flowing through you. What happens with that unconditional love? is none of your concern. The high sea will take care of that. Just focus on that flow of unconditional love. In your inner scene, you're still connected to the maypole. Ask the high sea to show you what is it like as you go through your daily activities with your family, your friends, your workplace, your community, constantly allowing this unconditional love to flow through you as you are continuously connected to the high sea. Just ask the high sea to show you what is this like. Let's end this session. Thank you for all of you who've watched this online. For those of us who are here in Bangalore, we're going to continue with the group cut. For those of you who are online, I recommend that you continue to practice wherever you are. Go through the Phyllis Crystal workbooks, go through the books, develop a community on your own, and do join us for upcoming uh, live sessions, which we'll continue to stream. Let's end with Om and Three Shantis. Sukino 